Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to study an interview question that has been asked multiple times and that is how to use an on change client script as an on load client script. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's start the video. Firstly, we are going to write an on change client script on incident form. For this, click on this all. Click on pin icon so that it remains on the left side. In the filter navigator, write incident dot form in capital. It will open the form of incident in new window. So if you are wondering how these shortcuts are helping, so you can watch this video that is called filter navigator shortcuts in ServiceNow. The link for this video is given in the description or you can check out on the channel. In this we have discussed different different filter navigator shortcuts which will help in navigating in the service now okay now we are on the form of incident and what is the scenario we are going to use for on change is that whenever the channel is changed okay chat email phone we will display a message to the user to write a descriptive form of your channel in the description and will make the description mandatory now we are going to create an on change client script for that we have to duplicate this tab so that we don't lose the form click on this additional actions icon in this go to configure and select the client scripts here you will see all the client scripts related to the incident table and tasks because incident extends the tasks table okay and we are going to click on new now the client script form will load the client script form is loaded and now we are going to set the fields of the client script form first we are going to write the name display message and field validation table will be incident ui type will be all type will be on change field name will be channel yes because when the channel will change we are going to display the message and make the description field mandatory go back field name will be channel search for channel at the bottom we see that channel now in this we are going to write our code so we will have to display a message to the user g underscore form dot add info message message will be please provide the description of your channel and we will set the description field mandatory so we are going to see what is the backend name of this description field right click it is description go back to the client description form write g underscore form dot set mandatory field name description set to true okay now we are going to save this client script we are not going to submit it because if we submit it we can lose this form and we don't want to lose this form right now Otherwise, we have to go back to the client script and search where is our client script. So we will save this. Click on this additional actions, save the form, and this client script will remain on the same form. Now the client script has been saved and we are going to test it. So go back to our incident and change the channel. Why it is not working? 
because this incident was open before any client script was added so we have to reload the form of incident so that whatever is the client script newly created for the incident must be embedded into it now we are going to change the channel and now you can see that message is being displayed please provide the description of your channel and description has been become mandatory okay so our on change is working correctly let's uh, modify a message a bit uh, we can write here please provide a description of your channel in the description field now we will save again so that the form remain on the same page form is saved now will this work if we change the channel the message will change no because this incident was loaded even before the client script was changed so we are going to reload the page the page has been reloaded and we are going to change the channel again now you can see that please provide the description of your channel in description field and description field has become mandatory so our on change is working fine now we will see how we can use that client script that we have just created as an on load client script as of now you can see that when we load the incident form so we are going to load the incident form we can see impact and urgency are low okay so we are going to reload the form and you will see that impact and urgency are low so what we are going to do is that we are going to update the value of impact and urgency to high okay like this when the form is loaded using the same on change client script okay so let's quickly do that so firstly we are going to see what is the backend value of these values that is highlighted to the user one high one high so we are going to just see the backend value of it so it is so choice list one high is one okay what is for urgency so choice list one high is one okay so both the choices are having back in value as one so we are going to go back to the client script that is on change client script and here from the line number two you can see that there is a check placed is loading new value equal equals to empty so in this check we are going to write that on load code okay so when right now what is happening is that when the form is loading nothing is being done okay it is just returning when the form is loading if there is some amount of code is written in this if block then that code will run all right so what we are going to do is that we are going to just remove this new value because we don't want that on change will run on the new value is empty if the channel value is empty then this will run so we don't want that we want just when the form is loaded then the impact and urgency must be set to high all right so we are going to just reload the form so that we can see it low right now low now go back to the client script in this particular block of if we are going to just set the values of impact and urgency g underscore form dot set value of what is the backend name of impact impact and urgency urgency go back to the form impact to 1 because the backend value of 1 high is 1 g underscore form dot set value urgency one 
okay now we are going to just format the code and click on this additional actions and save now the client script is being saved okay now we are going to reload this incident form what will happen is that impact and urgency will be set to high okay we are going to reload this form the form is reloading and you can see that impact and urgency changes to high when the form is being loaded okay now if we reload it again the code will run see it is changing so that's how you can use that particular on change as an on load client script okay and our on change will work we reload the form again it changes to high impact and urgency and if we change the channel then our on change is also working all right now the next question will come this is the important one what if we remove this return what will happen let's give a try if we remove this return and save the client script and go on this cross this reload the form what's going to happen let's see oops our impact set to high urgency set to high description become mandatory and we have the display value even though we didn't change the value of channel why this is happening let's go back to the code so what happened when the form is loaded these two lines runs the impact and urgency becomes one high okay but this code doesn't stop here it goes to the line number 6 7 and 8 and 9 also it runs these two lines also okay so that was the main purpose of return being used here once the form is being loading then set the values of impact and urgency and return does not go to line number 9 and 10 the return is stopping it so that is the importance of using return if you don't use return in this if block when the form is being loaded then your code written on line number 9 and 10 will also run as we have seen here so we don't want that we have to use return here then interview can also ask i don't want to use return here what else we can do any guesses we can use else instead of return so put all of your code which are not part of loading into else and save the form our client script is saved and we are going to reload this incident form now you will see that impact set to high urgency set to high but our description is not become mandatory and our message is not being displayed now we will change the channel value and our on change is working okay message is being displayed and description become mandatory all right so we have seen that how to use an on change as an on load what is the purpose of return and if we don't want to use return what can we use we can use else okay but it's nicer to write return here 
and you stop the code once the loading is completed and this code will work when we change the channel or whatever is your change field name so this is the end of the video hopefully this video helps you in understanding how to use an on change client script as an on load if you like this video do share the videos to others subscribe the channel if you have any doubt write the doubt in the comment and try to give your feedback because it is very important for us to know that how we are delivering the lectures thanks for watching the video bye bye